Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 13, Stroke. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is draw a star. Now, we'll go ahead and get rid of the fill by going down to the little X in the, bo in the swatches. You can always change your fill color by shift clicking on any of the swatches down here that's hold down the shift key and click any of the colors that's the simple way if you don't shift click and you just click then it will fill the color so if you just want to change something real quick that's the easiest and quickest way to do it if you want to open up your stroke palette there's three different ways to do that you can double click here in the bottom left corner where it shows you your stroke color you can go up to objects, fill in stroke, or you can press shift control F. So the stroke paint tab, because there's two tabs that manipulate your stroke, is basically deals with the color. You can turn your stroke off, you can fill it with a flat color, you can put three different types of gradients on it, which we'll talk about in a later tutorial. You can also put patterns or you can put swatches your swatches are basically a collection of colors that you've used for this project so if you want to keep your colors the same throughout a, a project it's under your swatches is where you want to look now this palette is very similar it's exactly like the fill which we had went over in the previous tutorial so if you want a little bit more in-depth on how all this works please watch tutorial number 12 fill I'm going to focus on the second tab, Stroke Style. So, Stroke Style is where you manipulate your stroke, and it has a bunch of options. So the first thing is Width. Its default is usually set to millimeters. You can change that to pixels. And going up and down, you can change the width of the stroke. So the higher the number, the thicker the stroke. And the lower, all the way down to zero, no stroke. You can also just type your number in if you have a specific number you're trying to get to. The next row is dashes. So just as set standard is a straight line. It's just a flat, um, continuous line. However, you can change that to any style of dashes under this and create your own custom. The numbers next to it move your dashes sort of around. And that's because sometimes dashes, especially if you're just using the default stuff, will end in sort of a funky place. And you might want to adjust it a little bit to get a better look. Alright, markers. I'll go to the pen tool. The pencil tool. And we'll draw a little line. I'll adjust it up a little bit. Alright, what markers do is add graphics to a stroke. So you can create your own custom markers to put anywhere you want. However, there are some default ones that can help you out if you're just trying to quickly do something. So the first one is marker at the front. So the very first node on your line is where this marker would go. So if I click that, it'll put an arrow right there. So if I want to point to something or show some kind of emotion with a stroke, it's easy to do. The middle drop down controls what is along the path. So let's go ahead and select this one. So you'll get some scissors. You can also make your own scissors and put them on there. And finally, the end cap. So we will find the last node in the line and it'll put um, that graphic on it. Alright, I'm going to press the Z key and go ahead and like this and zoom in to the edge of this star right here so the join has different options right now we're sitting at a bevel you can also do a rounded you can do a rounded join and you can do a miter join if you adjust the size up it'll make it more pointed or it makes it larger I'll select the P 
pen tool, hold control, draw a straight line, right click. All right, so if we look at the very top and bottom of this line, the caps, we can change them right here. So if you wanted a more of a rounded look, you can do that. A square cap and a butt cap. Okay, the butt cap ends before the node or at the node. All right, finally, there's the order down here. So the order, we'll go ahead and select the star again, and we will put a um, we'll put a fill on it so we can sort of see what's going on. We will also go ahead and put some dashes on it. So these order is going to change the order that you see what is on top, the stroke, the marker, or the fill. And if you're wondering what it does, you can just go ahead and click through them. It won't destroy anything or hurt anything, um, but it will give you a pop-up that tells you what order they're talking about. So this one is stroke fill marker. You click that, the stroke would be on top. Fill marker stroke. Marker fill stroke. Stroke marker fill. And finally, marker stroke fill. So that can be important if you're trying to do some precise work, especially working with the markers and you do have a stroke and you do have a fill on it, you probably will want to look right here under the orders and make the correct one. All right, that does it for the stroke palette. Join us for our next Inkscape tutorial, 14, Ink Dropper.